I'll call you the second. Just like most of these young men who sit before us, he's just a, a gentleman and a scholar on campus. He does a tremendous job. He's new to Durango. This is his first year here. And I think it would have been easy for him to, uh, I think it would have been easy for him to um, not get involved here at school. And he's quite popular and involved for all the right reasons. And so we really admire that about him. Um, there's a couple awards that he's received this year that I really want to talk about. He will, he's going to receive the um, Scholar Athlete Award for our team for the highest GPA. And uh, I forget what it was. What was it, Apollo? Yeah. 4.0. Good job. Just give him a round of applause. So we have the highest GPA on the team. But more importantly, he was selected by our state uh, to the all academic state team because of his GPA, so he's also going to be recognized for that. Yay. Apollo had an outstanding season for us, um, kept us in games, helped us win games. Um, the one thing that would stick out if you saw any of our games or come and watch us play was Apollo was always busting his butt, giving 100% effort, whether it be on the defensive end or the offensive end. He's really competitive, really competitive, hates to lose, uh, really enjoys being around his team and competing, um, and that's really important. I think it's going to serve him well. He's going to do quite well in life. Um, he's also going to receive for us the Outstanding Player Award. Apollo was also recognized by our division. He was first team all Southwest division. He was also first team all Sunset region. Apollo is in the process of right now, he has uh, several schools that are interested in him attending, not only for academics, but for basketball, he's in the process with his family of making that um, decision, and so we're excited to hear in the next couple of weeks uh, where he's going to be ending up and how that's going to work out for him, but we wish him all the best. Thank you. Apollo.